Tuesday from the Redneck Garage. Well, it's such a pretty day today. I decided to knock off early for the locksmith business and I've been working on the Jeep. Thought we'd just get in and crank it up. However, <laughs> we don't have the vacuum lines or any of that stuff hooked up. And once I got into it, I thought it'd be a really simple process of hooking up this line and that line. And then I remembered it's got this big EVAP contraption, abortion looking thing that sits up on the upper fender, which I just took off and threw in a wheelbarrow and had to clean it up. So I spent the last day and a half cleaning all the rust off that and all the garbage and cleaning it up. I've also been working on the radiator and the condenser, getting that put in, fan shroud. Uh, so things are starting to come together, not as quickly as I'd like, but I can foresee in the near future that we're gonna crank this baby over and start it. I just wanna get all the vacuum lines and stuff hooked up, which has been a nightmare, which has been like wrestling an octopus, which, is, which has been like sifting through your grandmother's yarn basket. Um, I guess that's the one we'll land on, yarn basket. Now this evaporative emissions control on the 2000s probably isn't as bad as the new ones, but it still stinks. So anyway, that's where I'm at, is trying to get all the evap lines and vacuum lines and all that stuff hooked up, so when we crank it up, it'll actually run. Let's take a look. All right, I'm still fooling with finding parts and everything else. <clears throat> I did find my evap crap. This conglomeration of nastiness that goes on the Wrangler. Um, the brackets and everything are so nasty, I'm having to clean them off. I did find my bracket for the center support for the radiator guard. Got it de-rusted and painted, and that looks good. The bath is working well to get the rust off of the brackets, and then I can paint them and we can get them put back on. There's a lot of lives of this stupid thing. I found the EVAP. I found the canister and I was like, well, what am I going to do with that, man? I don't have anything to put it on. And I had to start search and search and search and I had it in my storage building, that whole other thing. So, anyway, this is the uh, charcoal canister. Somehow I made a mistake on this wiring. This actually goes over there and it has to have a T to go down. So I ended up getting some T's and fittings and I'll be able to tee this off um, going over to the vacuum and then this one should tee into it and that should go into the uh, canister under the fender. Well I can tell you that that electrolysis bath works. This is what it looks like coming out. It had all that flaky scaly rust on it and it basically and it basically looked like this one. So I'll put this one in there and get it all descaled and we'll be ready to primer and paint put this thing back together holy moly there's the finished product man that bracket looks mighty fine got all the rust off got it primered and painted and it looks nice I've been using this I've been using this u-pole uh, satin black and this stuff covers really well dries nice um, I like it all right it actually turned out really well after I did the electrolysis bath and painted it up um, got everything for this evaporative crap cleaned up and ready to go back in. All right, I got this abortion mounted and I got to figure out where this one goes. Got to find the plug for that. All the other lines look right. So, and here's where your, and that's where the gas tank hooks up. Right there. So that looks good. Awesome. I got that new light on Amazon. I didn't notice it didn't have a cord, so I had to wire a cord in it, but it was like $22 for an LED light. Um, very light, very small. I'm really happy with that. I'll put a link down below if you're looking for one. You just got to put like an old extension cord or just wire two wires into it, and she's ready to go. But the cheapest one at Home Depot or Lowe's is like 50 bucks, and that one was like $22 prime shipped. So I'm happy with that. All right, I got the fan back on, got the belt tightened up. Uh, shroud, I repainted it. It looks really great. And uh, it's starting to look like it's about ready to fire up. I got a couple more wires. I gotta figure out what the heck they go to. Um, I'll look at my pinout connectors and see if I can figure out maybe something on the air cleaner. But accelerator cables on, put the new accelerator in. I'm happy. I'm amazed this conglomeration of vacuum lines and brackets and everything came out looking as nice as it did as rusty as it was um, one more line here I'm not sure where it goes got to hook up the brake booster getting really close though 
Well, the sun's starting to set and I'm going to put my tools up. But it's starting to look more and more like a Jeep. And I expect here in the next few days, we'll be able to crank this baby over. Tomorrow I'm going to pick up some antifreeze, see if we got any leaks on that. But uh, it's looking good. So we're very close. We'll just keep on keeping on. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.